Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. Thanks so much for joining me again. Again, I apologize my undependable timing for these. Um, I'm 100% disabled from the Air Force through the VA and my schedule is no schedule unfortunately or fortunately, it just depends. Um, so when I'm out and about, because I don't really go out during the day that much or, you know, just um, because I have everything I need at home mostly. Um, I take all day and run all the kinds of errands that I need to run. So I'm not trying to get into about me, but I apologize for this um, undependability and unprofessional way. But I do this, but I do it the best I can. So thanks for being patient with me because I just love spending this time with y'all each day. So today is Holy Wednesday, but also called Spy Wednesday. And I'm sure you know why it's Spy Wednesday. Judas, right? Well, we can find Judas mostly um, in, well, in just three of the um, Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Matthew chapter 26, verses 14 to 16, Mark chapter 14, verses 10 to 11, and Luke chapter 22, verses 1 to 6. All three are wonderful references for this account of, of Judas. However, I especially lean to the one found in the book of Luke. Judas agrees to pay to betray Jesus. Luke 22 verses 1 to 6. The festival of unleavened bread, which is also called Passover, was approaching. The leading priests and teachers of religious law were plotting how to kill Jesus. But they were afraid of the people's reaction. Then Satan entered Judas Iscariot, who was one of the 12 disciples. And he went to the leading priests and captains of the ten temple guard to discuss the best way to betray Jesus to them. They were delighted and they promised to give him money. So he agreed and began looking for an opportunity to betray Jesus so they could arrest him when the crowds were not around. Thanks be to God. I don't know about you, probably, or could very well just be me, but I have always held perplexed emotions regarding Judas. I'm torn about being mad and then feeling sad for and about him. Jesus also washed Judas's feet, as we'll discuss tomorrow at the Last Supper setting, just like he did all the other disciples. Jesus knew Judas was going to be, uh, Jesus knew himself that he was going to be on the cross. And throughout the time that Judas walked with Jesus, he knew Judas was going to be part of the line of events leading up to the death, burial, and resurrection of himself, Jesus. He was not, Judas was not with the beginning group of followers, the disciples in the very beginning. He seemed to struggle with how Jesus ran things, so to speak. He and Matthew were similar in how they were good with numbers. However, as we will read later this week, Judas was the handler of the money bag. The undependable one. <laughs> but there's a reason for everything. But you can read this in John chapter 13, verse 29, and I'll read it real quick. Since Judas had charge of the money, some thought Jesus was telling him to buy what was needed for the festival or to give something to the poor. Thanks be to God. The festival will be in Passover and the Last Supper, which ends up being, um, which we'll talk more about tomorrow. But this is just an example of how you can, you can read about Judas having the money bag. And Jesus would send him to different things and places to go you know, use the money bag to buy, but he was a very greedy man, unfortunately. Judas, that is. It's interesting to me that Judas was given this responsibility since Matthew had been a tax collector. However, Jesus had a plan for everything and everyone then, as he does for everything and every one of us today. We'll talk more, as I mentioned, about Judas later this week. However, I wanted to take a moment here to add how I have battled much within over him and his actions. Also, please take note how easily Judas was influenced by the Pharisees 
and how easily Satan was able to enter into Judas. When we are weak on any number of levels in our lives, it's easier for us to fall prey, prey to Satan's influences in our lives. We must stay in God's word and praying for him to keep us strong while again, I'll say, putting on that armor of God each morning. If we but give Satan an inch, he will indeed take that mile and then some from us. I know that I had my days of partying when younger and allowed myself to be heavily influenced by a lot of other people and music and other forms of entertainment. If I weren't in the Bible daily, I would not be here where I am today. Never take for granted how far you've come and any positive changes in your life. And never allow those negative influences back around you. Yes, it's easier said than done. But please stay vigilant. I know I have to. And I know I've said never say never. But just be extremely mindful and vigilant on this. But I use nev never here for a reason. Please just value your soul and your relationship with God more than those fun things. As I showed you a few days ago, I have these little Easter eggs to open. Eat, you know, there's some one day and a some not the next day or, you know, just mixed. But today's is the light pink one. And it's in here. And inside of it are three silver coins. The money that Judas got for betraying Jesus. Do you value money more than you do Jesus and your relationship with Jesus? You value positions in life more than you do your soul and your relationship with Jesus and your time meditating on his word, being famous, being more, you know, spending more time in this or that. Never forget where he's brought you from, please, again, as I said, never. Um, don't, don't rely on money to do it. Don't be greedy about money. Be greedy about instead, you know, your time. Make sure you get time every day with him. This little book, as I showed you before, it's actually in Spanish and English. So that was the light pink with silver coins. And this is what it says about Judas. Not everyone was happy to have Jesus as his king. Some people only pretended to be happy. But on the inside, they really didn't want anything to do with him. You know any pretenders? One of those pretenders was a man named Judas Iscariot. Some other men hated Jesus so much that they wanted to kill him, the Pharisees. But they needed the help of someone who could get them close to Jesus. Because Judas Iscariot was a pretender, and because he was greedy for money, he told these men that he would help them capture Jesus if they could pay him 30 silver coins. Those were three there. I, I just really appreciate learning more about this day and about Judas because it really, like I said, breaks my heart because I know how I partied a lot and I know how easily influenced I was by Satan, the devil, whatever. And I have to stay vigilant every day. So let this sink in. Holy Wednesday, Spy Wednesday, and we'll talk about Monday, Thursday tomorrow. I hope you have a blessed evening, and we'll talk again soon. Love y'all. Bye-bye.